Certainly not going to be an easy task for United this afternoon. Maybe on some Motherwell side, flying in confidence. United know that they have the power themselves in what they do this afternoon to get themselves off the foot of the Cinch Premiership table. For United, there's one change to the starting lineup from the game against Hibs last Sunday. That change sees Imi Niskanen come into the starting lineup for just his fourth start of the season. So Mark Berigiti starts in goal. He'll be behind uh, back three of Loi Kaina, Charlie Mulgrew, and Scott McMahon. Kieran Freeman on the right hand side, as he's Beach on the left. Ian Hart's partnering Craig Sibbald in the central area. Imi Niskanen and Jamie McGrath providing support to Stephen Fletcher. It could be a massive weekend for United in the battle to retain their Premiership status. Ross County's defeat last night in Dingwall against Aberdeen give them the chance to lift themselves off bottom spot. Sides emerge onto the playing surface at Fir Park. And momentum at this time of the season is crucial. We've got to make that count. There's a lot to be pleased about with the performance. It's the most control that we've had in the game in terms of possession, particularly that first half that we've had since I've came in. Sybil, who's going out to take the corner from the far side, a left foot in swinger. Towards Fletcher at the back post, nodded down. And it's off the post. This is Behitch with the cross towards Stephen Fletcher. The striker feels he was being held. The referee not interested. The goal is a, a couple of basic errors in there for me and that's something that we need to talk about and, and iron out between now and, and the, the next six games coming up. Now Van Veen running towards the United back line, lays off right side for Johnson, pulls it back. Van Veen, great chance. Saved first line by Birigiti, but there's the Dutchman to fire home. Good rebound from close range. 22 minutes gone. Motherwell 1, United 0. Another lengthy VAR delay. Offside being checked, but the goal stands. Mandron looking to square, Goss with a chance. And Aina throws himself in front of the Motherwell midfielder to block the effort. Collectively for me, it's, it's always about the team. And um, it's been a really good team performance. You know, um, we had to dig in at times. We knew the threat that Motherwell have got. They're quite a direct team. Um, but I thought we dealt with it and handled it in the main. added minutes, Nick Walsh looks to his watch again, reaches for the whistle and brings the first half to a conclusion. The talk at half time was let's go and get the next goal, if we do then let's see how Motherwell react. Ball floated over the top of the defence for Kevin Van Fein who sets and scores in off the post but the flag is raised. We didn't let ourselves go down. Gaffer was also full of belief in, into us in uh, half-time team talk and said that uh, keep, keep on pushing, keep, keep on going. And uh, there were a few things that we needed to get a little bit better. And uh, going into the second half, I think we, we did those. And I think Aina allows Van Veen to run through. What a save, Berigetti. And a perhaps vital save from Mark Berigetti. It meant a lot. So I have had great chances in the previous game. Personally, it was a, was a really big goal. Yeah, I've uh, actually lost my voice a bit in during those <laughs> celebrations. He's at the byline, cuts it back, Niskanen! And finally it comes for Rumi Niskanen! He's been frustrated in recent weeks with chances that have gone a begging. But he's pulled United level. It's a very, very good finish. You know, it's a hell of a lot uh, harder than what Emmy made it look. So I'm really pleased for Emmy because he hasn't really featured a great deal since I've came in, but he's trained impeccably well. Lovely back heel from Fletcher. He's what a ball. Slips it through a gap. Fletcher into the area. Heavy first touch. He goes around to keep work. Penalty Penalty kick. Kick. McGrath, stock still, now steps up, right footed. Sends him the wrong way. Slips the ball down the middle. And United are in front. Yeah. 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 
would have been very easy given the circumstances and where the team is in the league table for them to turn their back on the club if you like but they haven't done that. Um, they travelled through here in great numbers, got right behind the team from the first minute and the scenes at the end is what it's all about. You know, it's their club at the end of the day. You know, the players have got the privilege of wearing the wearing the jersey, but you know, the players have got just as much pride in the badge as what the people in the stands have got. Three minutes of added time. Flags are waving in the United support as they hear the final whistle blown. Two victories in seven days, and United are right to the bottom two. But if you wanted to ask about the character of this side, you want to ask about the impact that Jim Goodwin has had on this side in the last few weeks, you need look only at the league table. It's another three points, um, it's uh, not something that we're going to get too carried away with but we've got a little bit of momentum now and the, the most pleasing thing is that when we look at the league table tonight that we're, we're not on the bottom of it.